Paul Preaching at Athens by Anne Lynch Woodhart. Greek, hear the joyful sound, a stranger's voice upon thy sacred hill, whose towns shall bid the slumbering nations round, wake with convulsive thrill. Athenians, gather there, he brings your words brighter than all your boasted law thoughts. He brings you news of one above Olympian Jove, one in whose light your god shall fade like stars before the sun. You have a wildering night, that unknown god of whom ye darkly dream, and all his burning radiance shall beam. Behold, he bids you rise, from your dark worship at that idol shrine. He points to him who re-read your starry skies, and bade it your purpose shine. Lift up your souls from there and dust ye bow, that god of gods commands your homage now. But bright at hiding still, he tells of one whose precious blood was spilt and lavished streams upon Judea's hill, a remsen for your guild. Triumphed over grave and broke its chain, or conquer death and hell and rose again. Sages of Greek come near, spirits of daring fought in giant mould, ye questioners of time and nature, ye mysteries before untold. Immortal life revealed, light for which ye have task in vain, your proud philosophy. Search us for some first cause, with stout and darkness law he points to one, where all your wounded reason lost must pause and feign to think upon. It was from everlasting, which shall be to everlasting still eternally. Ye followers of him, who deemed his soul a spark of deity, your fancies fade, your master's dreams grow dim to this reality. Stoic, unbend that brow, drink in that sound, skeptic, dispel those doubts, the truth is found. Greek, or thy sculptured walls, if with thy triumphs and thy glories rung, and through thy temples and thy pillared halls, immortal poets sung, Less so like these have rend your startled air, they open realms of light and bid you enter there.